What's going on everybody? Robinson DUP here with another prep update. Wanted to go over a couple things. So, it's actually Friday the 13th, and this is kind of after the fact of where my weight finished off and how we decided to do refeeds. So, as of last week, uh, I was down to 174 pounds flat. Um, and then I did my back-to-back -back refeeds with uh, 220 grams of protein, 50 grams of fat, and 315 grams of carbs. So that started on Saturday. Um, Sunday morning I woke up at 175, did another refeed on Sunday into Monday, and I woke up at 174 and a half. Um, after that, my coach and I decided that there was no reason to rush and see if we can squeak out about another half a pound to a pound of body weight uh, or body, you know, body fat loss this week. Um, so we left everything at 220 grams of protein, 155 grams of carbs, 50 grams of fat, and um, left the two cardio sessions in for a half hour. With that being said, I went from 174 down to now, Friday the 13th, 173 and a half pounds. Overall, in terms of my energy levels, um, this past week was actually, uh, the, the week of the 13th was actually a lot better than the previous week. Last week, I was kind of, had like one good workout and then everything else was kind of brutal um, and wasn't really feeling all that great. But this past week, I actually felt pretty decent um, without the change in food. So, sorry about that. Some guy put his left hand turn signal on, then failed to turn left and went straight to the intersection. Anyway, um, I've still been working with a massage therapist and chiropractor. Um, honestly, I've been getting uh, a lot of knots, tension, uh, misalignments, which has been leading to things to some inflammation uh, and some headaches, which is abnormal for me because I usually never get headaches. So, working with this person, Jim, from Pro Star Massage. Um, it's definitely helped me grind through by getting these deep tissue massages uh, and getting my spine realigned. It's been, it's been helping me out a lot. Uh, I've been having some inflammation in my left elbow, my right shoulder, uh, my left knee, which has been typical since probably the age of 13, uh, due to all the previous history of kneecap dislocations and whatnot. And what I've been discovering is that a lot of things on my left hand side are just pinched and shut down which I think has caused some of the issue with getting the activation in my quads and things that I need, especially in my left leg, which has led to hard, you know, me having a hard time developing my, my left quad, especially. I think that's why my left lag drags behind my right. Now, in terms of how I'm training, um, you know, usually I have a set training protocol. I am kind of working around how I feel like training on any given day. The main thing I'm making sure is I'm still hitting every body part twice, somehow, some way, each week in the five day schedule that I have. Um, just because I want to make sure that I keep, you know, try to lift as heavy as I can and I don't want to get too cutesy and just do everything high rep and light. That way I maintain my size, which I feel at this point, even at 173 and a half, I am by far larger. Um, than I was obviously in my 2012 season, which was my first season, and now my 2014 season. Knock on wood, I'm actually pretty content with the overall leg size that I'm maintaining. The separation that I have in my quads is probably the best it's been ever, and I think I link that to both the way I trained my legs over the past several years with the frequency and the volume and the intensity, um, but also the fact that I've been working with the massage therapist to break up all the adhesions uh, and everything else that was going on and I'm noticing getting into my poses are easier I'm seeing more separation and definition um, in my muscles than I've ever seen before uh, And to be honest like this is not like your typical go to a spa deep tissue. This is a real deep tissue um, It can actually be somewhat painful in certain circumstances Especially when your IT bands are getting uh, you know rolled and everything else um, it does hurt but it's, it's worth it in the end. The one thing I will have to say now that I'm officially about three weeks out, um, I am doing everything I possibly can uh, and spending the money where I need to to ensure that I've done everything to bring the best possible package to the stage. 
Um, you know, and I haven't once concerned myself about who I'm going to go against. I don't want to know. I'm not interested in knowing. I don't know how many pros there will be on stage. There are going to be two, five, fifteen. I have no idea, and I'm really not concerning myself with it because the main thing here is I don't want to basically minds f myself um, into the point of panicking, stressing myself out. I've been very relaxed throughout this entire prep, and that's the plan on, way I plan on staying. I am getting a little bit excited, I'm not going to lie, um, now that I'm getting closer and closer. I mean, it feels like I just started prep, and now I'm literally three weeks out, and this happens every time. But I've just been focused on not even so much the scale, but the look in the mirror. Um, you know, I really thought at this point, with the, the amount of lean muscle mass and everything I added on, uh, or at least the way I held in the off season. If you follow my Instagram, you can see how lean I stayed even when I was like 195, 197, somewhere in there. I was convinced 175, 176 was going to be stage weight. Obviously, we know that's not going to be the case. I'm already down to 173 and a half. And I probably think one more solid pound will bring in my hamstrings. That's the one thing right now that's lagging. My glutes are in, my quads are in. My upper body is leaned out, which is always, my upper body always comes in before everything else. Um, you know, I'm making sure that I'm practicing my posing so that I can hold it while I'm on stage every chance that I get. And I'm also spending a lot more time synchronizing my routine to music so that I feel I give an overall well presentation. Um, as a pro, I think that's something that I really need to invest time in especially since on the AMBF stage it's scored. I want to put something good together. Am I ever going to be the most phenomenal poser? I don't know. But I want to. I just want to do everything as right as I possibly can so that if it is, let's say I happen to be uh, possibly getting first, I want to make sure that I hold that position based on my routine and or if it's close between myself and one other guy, maybe my routine will put me slightly over him whatever the case may be. Um, but the one thing I am doing more than anything now, as I'm getting to be 37 years old, is to make sure that I'm properly maintaining my body with my nutrition. So I am eating way more whole foods um, this time around, though I am still a big if it fits your macros guy. Um, I make sure not to abuse it uh, by just subbing in candy or subbing in junk. I really am investing the time to make sure I'm getting enough lean protein in, vegetables, fruits, things that'll help me sustain my energy levels and my recovery to the best of my ability. I am making sure to get enough fiber in. Um, I've always been good with my water. I'm not cutting any salts, anything like that. I never have it to this day. I don't understand why people do that. Um, I think that stems from the NPC side, but you know, my water's probably a gallon to a gallon and a half. I am making sure to get uh, enough sodium in, um, all these kind of things to make sure that I may maintain my muscle size, I don't fall flat, um, my cells are properly hydrated so that nutrients can come in and out. Uh, I am still taking creatine that will stay throughout the entire prep, including the day of the show. Um, that's where I think people make a mistake is they confuse intramuscular water with subcutaneous water. Um, and they start cutting water usually because they're not lean enough, so they're trying to, to make up for it. However, um, you know, I'm not. I'm, I'm just sticking to the plan. I'm not doing anything cutesy. I'm not screwing with any variables. Um, I'm just kind of everything's the same, day in and day out. Um, my cardio has been good, considering I don't really do it. My heart rate stays pretty steady. I'm not really struggling, but I do hate cardio. I haven't done any elliptical. I haven't done any treadmill. I'm basically using the bike for about a half hour to medium steady state pace. I try to bang out about five to six miles in that half hour. Um, nothing crazy, nothing insane, because I really don't need to um, go that you know over the top. I'm right, I think, where I need to be at three weeks out. Uh, I'm not taking anything for granted. I'm just making sure that I don't overdo it, but I'm also making sure, sure that I don't underdo it, because there's no necessary, you know, I don't need to be between either extremes. In terms of my weight training, as mentioned, I am training everything twice a week. However, you know, if, if I want to go heavy and I don't feel it, I'm backing off 
Um, if, if I feel like my back or my hip or my knee is just not cooperating with me, I will go more to machines. Um, still try to get the workload in and the intensity in, but I'm trying to make sure that I protect myself throughout to stay healthy. And this is something even in the off season, I'm gonna start taking, you know, be more aware of, is I have to realize that I'm not 20 anymore. I am 37, I'm getting close to pushing 40. Um, I want to be able to do this for the rest of my life, even if it's not competing. Um, I want to make sure that I can lift and train in a fashion that's conducive to my goals and not constantly have my body so inflamed that I can't train or I'm causing more damage than I'm doing good. Besides that, guys, um, everything else is going well. I really have no other complaints. Um, and that's about it. I hope you're enjoying the vlogs. I am gonna put progress pictures in along the way, which you might so, might have as a thumbnail or inserted in the video. Um, I'm not gonna show you my posing routine. I'm not gonna show you um, what the music is, even though actually it's copyright free, so I could. I may save that for the day of the show type of recording. I hope you're enjoying all this. If you have any questions, put, um, Put it down below in the comment sections. I'll make sure to answer it for you guys. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later.